Did the paparazzi cause Princess Diana's death? Was it really just an accident? Or was there a more sinister plot at play? These are just some of the questions that have captivated the world since that fateful night on August 31st, 1997. The tragic passing of Princess Diana and Dodi Fayed in a car crash under the Pont Alma Bridge in Paris has left a lasting impact on history. Now, new information has emerged that may shed light on the mysterious circumstances surrounding their deaths. In this video, we will delve into the captivating and controversial events that continue to intrigue us to this day. The Mercedes-Benz S280 carrying Princess Diana, Dodi Fayed, driver Henry Paul, and bodyguard Trevor Reese Jones crashed into the 13th pillar of the Alma Tunnel, causing severe injuries to all passengers. Princess Diana suffered a punctured lung, ruptured vein, serious internal bleeding, and cardiac arrest. And despite efforts to revive her, she was pronounced dead a few hours later. Dodi Fayed suffered a ruptured aorta and died from bleeding, while Henry Paul died from severe head injuries and internal bleeding. Trevor Reese Jones was the only survivor, but suffered multiple injuries. The news of Princess Diana's death caused a worldwide outpouring of grief and tributes. Both French and British authorities launched official investigations into the accident. The French authorities were responsible for the initial investigation, and the first report was released just two weeks after the accident. The report concluded that the crash was caused by the driver, Henry Paul, who was found to have been under the influence of alcohol and prescription drugs at the time of the accident. However, the British public was not satisfied with the findings of the French investigation, and a second inquiry was launched in the UK. This investigation, known as the Operation Paget Inquiry, was carried out by the Metropolitan Police and lasted for more than three years. Despite the thoroughness of the investigation, many questions remained unanswered, and some members of the public were not satisfied with the conclusion that the accident was solely caused by the actions of Henry Paul. One of the most controversial aspects of Princess Diana's death is the conspiracy theories that surround it. One theory suggests that Diana was pregnant with Dodi Fayed's child and that the two were about to announce their engagement. However, post-mortem examinations of Diana's body found no evidence of pregnancy, and tests on her blood showed no increase in pregnancy hormones. Another theory suggests that MI6 was behind the murder of Diana and Dodi, with some claiming that the royal family, specifically Prince Philip, ordered the hit. However, the official investigation into the conspiracy theories discovered witness evidence from close friends stating that Diana was in her normal menstrual cycle in mid-August 1997 and that contraception was being used. Testimony from those close to her, including her butler and confidant Paul Burrell, also suggested that marriage was the last thing on Diana's mind. Another theory suggests that Diana believed she was going to be killed by the establishment, adding a new layer of mystery to the already perplexing story of her death. The letter she wrote to Paul Burrell paints a chilling picture of a woman who was truly afraid for her life. While there is no evidence to suggest that the establishment had plans to kill Diana, the fact that she believed it herself adds a layer of intrigue to the story. One theory surrounding Princess Diana's death is that the driver, Henry Paul, was part of a conspiracy to have her killed. This theory is linked to Muhammad Al-Fayed's claims that MI6 was involved in the plot. According to Alpha Ed, Paul was an informant for MI6 who may have deliberately caused the crash. There were also suspicious funds in Paul's bank account, and a former MI6 officer, Richard Tomlinson, testified that Paul was on MI6's payroll. However, investigations have shown that Paul was in fact under the influence of alcohol on the night of the crash. The official inquiry confirmed that eyewitness testimony and numerous blood tests showed that Paul was three times over the French legal limit for alcohol. The investigation also concluded that Paul may have been a low-level informant for French secret services, but found no evidence that he was a hired gun for MI6. Additionally, it was revealed that Paul was not even meant to be working on the night of the crash. Diana and Dodie's plans had changed last minute, so Paul was asked to step in as their driver. This debunks any idea of a premeditated plot involving Paul. Despite this, conspiracy theorists still maintain that Paul was part of the alleged conspiracy. They've even suggested that the blood sample taken from him was not his own and that he was actually sober on the night of the crash. However, there's no evidence to support these claims. 
The idea that the paparazzi were responsible for the death of Princess Diana is a truly dramatic and unsettling notion. One version of this theory suggests that the paparazzi actually chased Diana's Mercedes, pushing it to the brink and causing the fatal crash. Another suggests that they were simply creating an environment in which such a tragedy could occur by being too aggressive and intrusive. However, despite the widespread belief that the paparazzi were somehow involved in Diana's death, official investigations have found no evidence to support these claims. In fact, many of the photographers present that night were simply doing their jobs, competing with one another for the best shot. While it's true that the car carrying Diana was driving at high speeds in an attempt to evade the photographers, the investigation concluded that this was a normal response to the paparazzi's presence and that they had not engaged in any criminal activity. These conspiracy theories couldn't be put to rest mainly because of the loopholes in the investigations. The major controversy surrounding the investigation is the allegation of a cover-up. Some people believe that the official inquiry was designed to conceal the truth and protect the royal family from scrutiny. They claim that critical evidence was either ignored or suppressed, and key witnesses were not interviewed or pressured to change their testimony. One of the most prominent pieces of evidence that conspiracy theorists argue was ignored is the presence of a white Fiat Uno at the scene of the crash. Witnesses reported seeing the car collide with Diana's vehicle before it crashed into the 13th pillar of the Alma Tunnel. However, the car and its driver were never found, and the investigation did not pursue this line of inquiry further. Since the official investigations concluded in 2006, there have been several claims of new evidence that could potentially shed light on the circumstances surrounding Princess Diana's death. One of the most sensational claims was made in 2013 by a former soldier who told police that the British Special Forces were involved in Diana's death. The soldier claimed that the SAS, Special Air Service, had played a role in the accident by blinding Henry Paul, the driver of the car, with a bright light before the crash. The police investigated the claim, but found no evidence to support it. In 2017, another claim was made by a man who said he was a former SAS soldier and that he had been involved in the plot to kill Diana. The man reportedly told police that the SAS had been ordered to kill Diana because she was seen as a threat to the monarchy. He claimed that the operation had been carried out by a team of eight soldiers who had stacked a mock road accident to cover their tracks. Once again, the police investigated the claim, but found no evidence to support it. Despite the lack of evidence to support these claims, they have reignited public interest in the case and fueled speculation that there may have been more to this story than what the official investigations revealed. Some have called for a new investigation to be launched, and why not? Diana was loved by the world, and her legacy still continues to inspire people to this date. In fact, she was known as the People's Princess due to her kindness compassion, and her desire to use her platform to help others. Her legacy continues in many different areas, from her charitable work to the way she changed the royal family. Her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, have continued her legacy by carrying on her charitable work and founding their own organizations to help others. With that said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And if you found this content helpful, give the video a like. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.